sure you check out our new sponsor, The Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's thehealthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, man. It was a trade that's rumored to be going around. It's kind of like a proposal. Where the Portland Trailblazers was saying Nurkic, who just came off a, a knee, a, a knee, and you know, I think a broken leg, excuse me, and uh, CJ McCollum, and the number twenty fifth pick in the draft over to the New Orleans Pelicans for Anthony Davis. Let's talk about it. We back. Goodfellas Sports TV in the building. Don't forget to check out our NBA one on one NBA talk playlist. You won't just be, uh, you won't be disappointed. NBA one on one is our live shows, which I gotta get more in. And also after this, we're having some draft, uh, some draft talk as well in the NBA. But um, uh, me personally, from a New Orleans Pelican standpoint, um, it's not a bad deal. Obviously, I would try to get that number one pick next the year after that. I'll try to get three number one picks out of them, and possibly a second pick. I want that number one pick for the next three years. I don't want uh, Turner. I don't want Aminu. I don't want <clears throat> excuse me, Canner. I don't want. Whatever else the fuck they got, I don't want it, all right? I would do it if they give me the number one pick for the next three years, you know, at minimum two years. And, you know, what people got to understand, you're never going to get equal value for Anthony Davis. You know, the Lakers didn't get equal value for Shaquille O'Neal. Um, and obviously, they was messed up after they traded Shaq. The team fell apart until, you know, Jerry West came back in. And, well, I think he sent Gasol over to – to Lakers, and then stuff started to change around. So you're not going to get equal value for Anthony Davis. That's what people got to understand. When you trade an all-star, all-star caliber player, especially a superstar caliber player, it's rare that you get equal value. And if you end up do getting really equal value, it probably got something to do with a draft pick that, that turned into a top lottery pick, you know. But for this league, you're not going to get, you know, you're not going to get, you know, Anthony Davis talent back. Because only only guys that's just as talented as, or as talented as Anthony Davis is what Giannis and young Giannis, uh, you know maybe Durant still young he only thirty, um, James Harden perhaps, perhaps uh, who else you got in there? Um, probably not even Westbrook to be honest. You know probably admit anybody that's in that top five, you know uh, Harden, you know uh, Giannis, Kawhi. He only 27. Anybody in there. But when you start going LeBron, nope, too old. You know what I'm saying? You start, you know, going other guys. So it's not going to be equal value. Now, C.J. McCollum ain't an all-star. That I mean, you trading an all-star for for not an all-star. <laughs> that's the, that's probably the issue. But then again, the Lakers try to do the same thing. Kuzma could probably be an all-star. Brandon Ingram maybe never will be an all-star. Maybe will be. His, his, his ceiling is high. Lonzo could be an all-star. It's a lot of could. C.J. McCullough could be too, but he younger. I mean, he older than a lot of those guys. <clears throat> He's older. And Portland will be gambling, basically saying, they be saying what Toronto said uh, this year. If we don't make a run with, uh, we don't make a run this year, we know Kawhi going to leave, and then we just going to tear it down. We're not going to win with, with Lowry and DeRozan and them. We, they understood that. So they, they had nothing to lose. Okay, if Kawhi walk away after this year, they made it to the finals, or at least we tried. Let's tear it down, rebuild it. Same thing with Portland. If we if AD uh, we trade for AD and AD walk away, and hey, we'll do it, we'll do the South that Damian Lillard trade him to a contender, start over, rebuild it again. But just if they thinking like this, they know McCullum and Lillard are not gonna win nothing because neither one of them, well, McCullum, neither one of them can defend twos. When you get twos like Clay Thompson out there. Can't defend them. Too small. You know, people talking about, what about Isaiah and Joe Dumars? Both are elite defenders. Damian Lillard ain't nowhere close to Isaiah Thomas. And I say it again. Nowhere close to Isaiah Thomas as an all-around player. And neither Steph Curry as a point guard. Zeke had the dope handle. Zeke had the, had the leadership. He had the tenacity. Motherfuckers probably didn't like Zeke. But you know what? Zeke did whatever to uh, win. Joe Dumars, he could defend. He used to get Jordan Fitz. As crazy as it sounds. He's one, he one of the reasons Jordan molded his game the way he did. The bad boys. They don't want you to remember the bad boys because they don't want small market teams to be the face of the NBA. And that's why the NBA don't have a large uh, following like, like the NFL. 
NFL, any given year, small market, mid market, mid sized market, big market can win it. But, but just looking at it, Anthony Davis could stay. I know he won't, but with Zion there, if you if, if you believe how good Zion is, why not? But then again, you putting your hopes into a rookie. And he ain't LeBron, in my opinion. So just looking at it, other than what the Celtics got to offer, after what Tatum did this year, a lot of people low on Tatum, I still believe in Tatum. All them old veterans around here was trying to get theirs, and they and Brad Stevenson just couldn't manage their personalities, and they forgot to mention that they forgot to you know tell the players, like Jason Tatum was the best player in the Eastern Conference Finals two years ago. They forget that. Jason Tatum was the best player. And now everybody ego trying to get paid and, you know, trying to get their bread up or whatever. Jason Tatum just wasn't an alpha male. He a kid. He ain't going to tell no grown man what to do. So Jason Tatum is still, I still take him over McCullum, his upside. He going to be an all-star, especially go to New Orleans. You know, then what else they got to offer? Jalen Brown, great package. They number two, number one, number they two number one picks this year. You know, Boston got offered the best package. They could, but then, remember what AD Daddy said. You know, he won't speak for AD, but said he don't want to play there because ain't no loyalty after what they did to Isaiah Thomas. Then again, Denver can get in on the sweepstakes. You know what I'm saying? AD probably don't like the snow, but he's from Chicago. He could deal with it. He can get in. They, they got a ton of assets they can trade. They had the best package, in my opinion. Not sure what they draft things is, but then again, they got, you know, Gary Harris, Will Barton, they got Be- Beasley, Morris coming off the bench. They got uh, they they really can say, oh, we don't want Jamal Jamal Murray. You know, I think I don't think he's going nowhere because AD and, 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 and Jokic can play together because AD can defend four, five, and threes. You know, but this this particular trade to close it out, um, not a bad trade. But I know New Orleans thinking they can get better. And do you really want to trade New? Uh, Anthony Davis in the division. And from a Portland standpoint, you know what I'm saying, is Anthony Davis and and Anthony Davis and Damian Lillard enough? Cause still you you don't you don't who else gonna give you scoring, you know, on the perimeter? I know Anthony Davis can, but they still need more scoring. They need like a, a mellow type of guy in his prime that can go get a bucket. A Kevin Durant guy in his prime that can go get him a bucket other than McCullum and Lillard. They need a, you know, Anthony Davis can help, but they just need that that third scoring, and they need bench scoring. They need them a Vinny Johnson, a Jamal, a Jamal Crawford, a, a Lewis Williams coming off off the bench. So they got so many holes there, man. That I, I, I still think it'll be a great combination, but they still got so many holes there, man. So many holes there. They need more scoring. They need more more dynamic play, uh, scores off the bench. And they need more shooting, but. I think the Northern Pelicans can get a better deal than this. But if you look at McCullum and, and, and Drew Holiday in the backcourt, that's pretty much what you got in the was pretty much what you got in uh in uh in Portland. But then again you put Zion with him. You bring Nurkish to hold down the middle. Um straight. But I think they can do better. I think if they can get Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and a couple of draft picks from Boston, that's where I'd be sending them to. They can get the third pick from the Knicks. What, Kevin Knox, Dennis Smith. I don't know what else they're looking for. But I don't see what the Knicks, the, Nets, the Knicks can offer. So I think it's better deals out there. The Lakers, obviously they don't want to trade them there. The Clippers, uh, Danilo Gallinari. You know, do they really want to part ways with Lewis Williams? You know, Gillinsley Alexander. So you got to ask yourself, man, um, who got the best package? And I think potentially Boston probably got had the best package. But he don't want to go there. He can make it call him, but I ain't staying. So really it's going to, if you don't want to play in Boston, really it's going to boil down to the Knicks. It's going to boil down to the Lakers. Maybe the Clippers. And if Denver want to get in there, it could boil down to them. But I don't think it's a bad trade offer. But do we really want to keep AD in the East, in the West? Excuse me. Philadelphia should be getting on the horn too. Because really, Embiid not going to last in this league, man. But I'll link the article in the description. Uh, appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow1Boxing. 
Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products, soaps, lotions, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair pop, made much, much more. Website, promo code, both in the description. And uh, don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email. If you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video request. Want to make a donation, that link's there as well too. Patreon, that link's there as well too. Continue to share, share the videos. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time we gone.